What is up everybody? Gladiator Gaming here playing another game of Pokemon Showdown. Haven't played this in quite a while. And I'm playing against FTT Stay SY. And we are playing Gen 8 Random Battles. And this is one of the crazier comebacks I have ever had on Showdown. It was nerve wracking till the end. We first swap out into Cryag. We haze, take off the effects. Probably a waste of time. That may have hurt me later down the road, honestly. The haze wasn't super necessary. I don't know, maybe if I didn't haze, I would have gotten killed by Psy Shock. So maybe it was a good play. But he goes for Giga Drain. I don't know why he thought that would do more, but he quickly realizes Giga Drain is not a good option. He goes for Psy Shock again. So this is just some stalling, so we'll skip through some of this. He swaps into Tauros. We have a Moongus. And he Dynamaxes on us. Max Mindstorm barely surviving, but he has Regenerator. So we just send the Toxic off and we bounce. Back to Cryag, take a massive hit. Goes for Max Dar Darkness. I was expecting him to just spam Max Mindstorm. And that would have done next to nothing to Cragno. And sadly, I went to Formosa expecting a Max Darkness again. And he was just mixing it up every single time. And that was just a sack of one of my better Pokemon on the entire team. Best, better, however you want to say it. Probably best to say best. And there goes his Tauros. We're down three Pokemon. He's down one with a Toxic Calyrex. That Ninetales is setting up. I'm going to set up as well. And now I'm thinking to myself, okay, we need to kill his Ninetales. Heat Wave. With the Auroraville. That would have killed in one hit without the Auroraville popping up there. That was so tragic. Moonblast doing 20. Not bad, not bad. And now this is looking pretty good for us. It's two to, or it's four to three. And this Latias comes out. And I use Max Mindstorm, nothing happens. 12%. Leftovers is healing half the damage I'm putting out with a Dynamax move. So I'm like, okay, the only thing I can do is go to Gold Duck and start shooting up Ice Beams. But the Special Defense plus Aurora Veil combi combo, Ice Beam does 9%. So I instantly see my only win condition. He's going to be spamming Calm Minds. I need a fish for freeze. I cannot win this match without fishing for freeze. So calm mind, freeze. I plug my YouTube in the chat because I think it's over. I'm like, this is there's no way I win this. In my head, I'm like, this is over. My last Pokemon has Ice Beam too. I get the freeze, absolutely massive. But the problem is, even though I froze, I go to Nidoqueen Queen to get more damage off of my Ice Beams. I see that I end up doing about. 18%, 15%, even worse. He's healing about half each turn. So I'm just chipping him down 7% at a time with Ice Beam. Boom, another 7% down, another 7% down. And I'm thinking to myself, when is he going to unfreeze? And I just get swept. Like, I was hoping for crits, like, after the 20 Ice Beams, I had to shoot this stinking Latias. I got zero crits. And I'm just frozen again. Thank God. Just, it feels impossible to break through. But he's frozen again. 17%, doing a little bit better than the 15%. And we go ahead, frozen. And the Latias is dead. But we're not out of it yet. He has a Formosa. Ice Beam nearly kills it. That killed, that would have been game. Beast Boost. Would have swept the rest of my team. My Necrozma couldn't have handled it. I swap into Golduck. I wanted a Draco. So he would lose his special attack. And I could swap back into Nidoqueen. And I wasn't thinking that Nidoqueen actually doesn't deal with Gudra that well. So Nidoqueen just dies. For no reason. And now Necrozma. Draco's not doing much. Special attack drop. I can just Calm Mind here. And the good thing is this Calyrex can't really touch my Necrozma either. So I'm like, okay, I can just Calm Mind again. Plus two special defense. 
What does he go for? He's toxic. He's just going to die. Giga Drain, we can take it. We'll just combine again. And here's some spam. Just combine Giga Drain, combine Giga Drain. We end up using a Moonlight, which is huge, healing stuff to full. Now we're at plus six. And I think I can take the game. So I go for a Photon Geyser. One of the cooler animations they have in this showdown here. He's down to 1%, so I'm going to eat a Giga Drain for no reason. Oh no, I take it back, he's going to die to Toxic. And Guja comes out with an Earthquake, 27%. I think we win. There's no way we brought this back. It is absolutely insanity. I can't speak English. It's 2.34 a.m. Peace.